Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 108, day after July 4th, if that's a thing you do. It's a big thing here. Uh, a bunch of families, people getting together. It's always fun. See some of the old Wix people. If you're ever in the Redmond area on July 4th, let me know. I invite you to a party. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to be with us here. And if you aren't here today, you're going to miss out on a celebration because we're going to talk about Wix 3103 for the last time, I swear. At least not in present tense we will talk about it maybe it's still past tense we'll do some triage um, no pull requests today because honestly there weren't really any pull requests to go through and then we'll do the usual questions and comments although it looks like some people are having fireworks hangovers so we might not have too many questions as it goes on 3103 released woo um, Bob went out and got coffee and Sean and I pushed the whole update did the blog post and all that kind of good stuff I think that's about how it worked right Sean yep yeah, that sounds about right. With the minor thing that I did do all the uploading and release notes and, yeah. And, and to be really fair, we really just copied Bob's text into the news items and everything else because everything that I tried to write was horrible and Sean was like, yeah, that's just not good. But he wouldn't actually tell me what to write. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I see. As, I never learned that lesson. Yeah, well, yeah. So as usual, our, our awesome <laughs> texter personer that has good spelling and awesomer grammar um, came to our rescue with fantastic text, which is what you've seen in the tweets and things like that, mostly, if not paraphrased. So, And anything that's um, incorrect is uh, my fault for taking liberties to shorten it. Anyway, so uh, as you can tell, this is very nice to have behind us. We will now be able to look forward to uh, cooler things. Um, and for those of you who do the July 4th, uh, um, I hope you had a good one, a safe one. All right, so that's 3103. If you're not using it, you probably should think about when you're going to start using it. Um, and we'll roll on from that. So we go from that exciting news into the typical usual thing of triage. Uh, Bob, you ready? I'm ready. So we have a few bugs today. I didn't look. Eight. That's yeah, not too bad. Um, things like that. And I think a few of these are features. So anyway, feature, please digitally sign this. Uh, digitally sign our custom action DLLs. So Win10 is adding more and more ability to lock down your machine, which is interesting, um, including the ability to only run code that is digitally signed, I assume in a particular way. So it does seem that we should sign these DLLs. So I think- It's kind of interesting that Windows doesn't accept that the MSI is signed. Yeah, I, you know, they have to do it by proxy, but, you know, the calling process does it. But then, yeah, yeah. then I think you're looking at hack DLLs. You're like, is that really the safe thing to do? Well, so the reason I bring that up is is I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the idea that we're going to sign something like, you know, wixca.dll, given that you can do anything you want to with it. Mm, yes. I, I'm less worried about some of them, but, but you know, wixca. Uh, uh, a lot but, of but that's going to launch another process, right? Um, yes, that is true. So that but process would have to be signed as well by to support that. But if so. it's, say, cmd.exe? Oh, mm, right. Sorry. <laughs> Multiple levels of escape hatch here. Yeah, but if we don't, you just can't use it for anything. Yeah, well, sorry. No, I was thinking rather than us signing them, perhaps this is where we need to um, Extend you know, take signing. advantage of the fact. we ha Well, you know, we already kind of sort of it's kind of ugly but we do have um oh god i wrote the tool and i don't remember what it's called retina mm -hmm. um the thing that lets you sign and you know repack a wixlib um it's it's pretty unpleasant and yeah maybe we do have to look at, at a way of automating this um, if we look at automating this then we look at i mean Honestly, it's a light thing that we bring back the concept of light doing signing of files for you, which is something I'm right. still a touch allergic to, but I do get why it's kind of nice if it would do it for you. Because well, it would tell that you. That opens up a whole bunch of stuff, yeah. Please sign these files. Sure. Then it only signs the files that you're shipping. Right. Um, of course, you do. If, ship, if you ship the same file in multiple MSIs, you have to figure out how to not sign it twice, but that's a problem for a different reader. Um, well, you, you raise a good point. Um, and, and it's only Wixia 
that you're yeah, well, concerned I'm, about. I'm actually worried about because it has so many escape hatches. The rest of them, I mean, I'm like, eh, I'm kind of, most maybe UI extension, but even that, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with everything except with CA mm -hmm. But it, it's one of those, if, you know, we wanted to avoid that, then you know, probably we need a solution that covers everything anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not going to decide that now. No. Um, let's put this in 3.11 so we force the issue. Um, okay. And you'll give it to me because I'm going to end up probably have to do the signing on things uh, for now. If we're going to do it the simple way, I'll take it. And then if we're going to do it the more complicated way, um, we'll, I will, we'll decide who gets to do that feature. I will let you do that investigation. Yeah, but if it's going to be build process, I'm going to have to do it. So well, it's, it'll be easier since I have access to the build process. I actually can get to the key. So, All right, light. There should be a better message than this should you do... Uh, yeah, right. So this is the case, right, right, right. So this is the case where someone was trying to use an XE as their icon, which of course isn't what Burn wants. Burn wants an icon, um, and the error message is horrible. So this is about improving the error message, which seems like a good thing to do. Um, but I think we should just toss it before. Yeah, before I'm fine with that. Configure SMB. We don't have Phil. I think he was the one that. Yeah, he was the one that opened this. Um, but there is something wrong in the custom action code if it really is only looking at 72 characters. So, no, that's yeah, that's that's part of the structure uh, definition. So, yeah, seems like if not a bug, uh, something we need to enforce. I think it's a bug personally, but a bug that we don't that enforce. we limit it. Oh, 272. Right. That's, well, especially since the table says 255. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Clearly there's a miscommunication there. So yep. 311 or 4? Uh, I'm willing to put it in 311 for now. Okay. Maybe Phil will do it. Yeah. Should we give it to him? <laughs> I don't know if we can. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Reboot pending burn should include a bundle pending reboot. Reboot pending burn variable should include the bundle pending reboot. Right. The, yeah. the, bundle, the bundle will tell you that it needs a reboot, but we don't include that in the reboot pending bit. Right. We right. actually don't report it until you try to run apply. Really? We don't give it to you in the command line yeah. switches? Even well, no, no, because it's all um, it's it's that uh, volatile registry key. I thought we looked at that and then changed your the way that you were being run, but maybe we don't. Um, so. That seems like a reasonable thing, but even then, it seems like this would be where you would expect to find it. Um, hey, you need a reboot. Happens to be just for this bundle, right? But the bundle's still and, not going to let you install. Until you take a reboot. Short, short of designing it, I'm fine if it were a separate variable, but you know, it just seems <laughs> the bundle's not going to run. We, right. we absolutely block yes. it. We're going to so. block it because we don't want to mess up our registration in really kooky ways. Yep. Um, all right, four. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. It is technically a behavior change. Bundle enum related bundle. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, returns a provider key. Really? Returns a provider key? Not the bundle mm -hmm. ID? Yeah. Why is it return a provider key? Because it's usually the bundle ID, but not always. And when it's not, you can't use bundle get bundle info with a provider key that isn't also a bundle ID. Uh, don't you have to go to your work to get the provider key? Or is it a separate? Sorry, say again? Don't you? Don't you I thought you just wanted the key. Value, the the uh, the good out of the key. Okay. Um, well, I, uh, how do you get I'm the provider key? Is that a value in the registry? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we only stored it in the dependencies world. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, cool. So it really should be the key that you're enuming, right? The key that you have enumed to get the upgrade code is what you really want to return, not the provider key value. 
Um, I think that's correct. I'm not sure why you would want the provider key over the bundle ID. Well, if you have the bundle ID, you can get the provider key. Mm, yes, that is correct. But it's hard to get the bundle ID if you have the provider key. <laughs> Um, yes, it is, in fact, difficult. Hey, Jake, Jacob's here. Jacob, didn't you write this? Or is it someone else? Am I remembering correctly, incorrectly? Oh, good. Guilty party. Ah, uh, it was Jacob. Well, that means we missed this. So, if this is true... Then how do we go about fixing it? Uh, is it like, well, it's, the problem is right now we're we're you know quote unquote designed to return the provider key, so it's a question of do we want to change that behavior to always return the the bundle ID instead, or I think, do we want to? I think we know, have, have a new function. I think we have to. It's basically it's a bug. That I if you didn't, if you didn't, it's a bug. It's like, look, this usually gives me the bundle ID, but sometimes it doesn't, and that's a bug, right? It's like, oh yeah, let's make it always return the bundle ID, because um, I don't think anybody goes into bundle enum related bundle and say, cool, give me all the provider keys. That's not what it was ever advertised for, right? Uh, I can't think of a good reason not to return the bundle ID, given that bundle get bundle, bundle info needs the bundle, the bundle ID. ID. So okay, yeah. So this this is a bug in bundle enum related bundle that sometimes it returns a provider key. Well, actually, it always returns a provider key. It's just sometimes a provider key happens to be the same as the bundle ID. Right. All right. So I, I think we should fix this soon. Like three eleven, yeah. so it doesn't carry on too much further. Yep. I'm fine with that. I'm okay. fine with that. Can we give this to Jacob and have him kind of poke at it? All right. Uh, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. Advanced button in Polish appears on multiple lines. Oh, the Polish thing is too, the word is too long. My assumption. I was is kind that of why, that's a long. That's a long word. That's a pretty long word, yeah. All right. Well, this can be fixed. Uh, do we toss it in 3X? Someone wants to do it? Right? That has the yeah. change the size of yeah. the control as part of the Wix tool? Yep. yep. Cool. Using Wix tool set in both VS 2008 and VS 2015 at the same time. Wow. That's going to be hard. Ah, yes, this. Just an installer issue. Right. The one that's like, isn't this an installer issue? No. Actually, those are always one. easy. That That's the least of the work in this case. Yeah. The biggest, the biggest problem, I mean, you know, we could we could make it mostly an installer issue and and you know let you pick which versions of visual studio votive integrated into and kind of leave it up to you to manage oh the collision you know, which version yeah if if you you know if say you install you have 38 installed and you install 311 and you know you you say, yep, integrate into all of them by default, and then we're gonna we're gonna nuke your your three eight. Um, it, I think it's possible to make all that work, but it 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 is just an installer issue, in that you know we'd have to suddenly have all of all of Wix, including Votive and MS Build, be side by side, and right now it's not. Yeah, no, it's not. The three X line just keeps upgrading. Yeah, um, and also I don't. I'm pretty sure we'd have to go back and make three eight play more nicely. Um, maybe yeah. we don't have to do that, but uh, if if we were to do this as a feature, we're going to support side by side. Yeah, then it's yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I I think if they want this, they could go figure out how to build Wix and that. Hack up the registry and things like that. I don't really think this is a feature that. The first time it's come up in this many years, and it's like, yeah, they, we'll let them build their own version of Wix to kind of make that happen. 
Because you, yeah, actually, of, you could yeah. go back and make it all. You could Frankenstein it to get it to work. You could. You but, could. So. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, no. <laughs> Not really. So do we? I think the answer is yeah. You could do all the work, but we're not. I don't really want it back either. So, you know, yeah, that's. Cause that's I don't really want to. This is gonna be too much work to maintain. Way too much testing, and way overkill for everything. So, so, so yeah. So they could do it if they want, but I don't. They could create a fork of Wix and go do it themselves. I think is the answer to that. Cool. I think so. Yeah. I've, I've, yeah. We, we're not doing anything votive as it is. Like, if you're, there are way well, more no, useful no, no, things no, to work in votive. So I'm just like, eh. Yeah. No. 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 It's, I, I'm, I'm not volunteering for the for the hassle, and it's not just votive either. I mean, that's the, yeah. it's it's a lot of work. It's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. There are way more impo- important things for us to go work on. All right. So, nah. I guess that goes off and says, yeah, they could go do it if they want to do it. I think this is a bug that got open, they changed the title, and then they made it all go away. So I don't know what was supposed to happen here. It's an interesting title. It's an interesting title, but maybe they figured out they were wrong. Yeah, and there's no people. detail. So and there's no details. So there's nothing we can do. Yeah. And then our last one. Um, this guy is saying we're outputting output. And then, yeah, you come. And then I looked at his text files, and they looked exactly correct. And they build. And they built, and then he said that this is what he's getting, which isn't what he attached. Right. Then it's so, not what you get when you run the command that, that he is listed right there. Right. Well, the command you get is the text files he attached, which is great that he attached those. Very helpful. Yeah. Or she. Yeah. He or she. Sorry. Um, and yeah, so I I think we close this as like yeah, not not a bug, right? And go on, not with this command line. And have them go to Wix users for help before they start yeah. opening up again. They've they've probably got something left over or not working or whatever. Right. Okay, doke. Anything else? Other things going on. Stuff. Three ten three behind us. We'll move on to three eleven. We will. We need to sit down and talk about that. I know we've said that we need to talk about these things, but we really do. Um, now that we have 3.10.3 behind us, it feels a little better uh, to be able to uh, just have that off, like, away. Yes, here's a build you can use. Please use it. Um, those kinds of good things. Anything else? No? No? All right. So have a wonderful week enjoy 3103 that's out there we'll do this again in two weeks and uh, we'll come up with a agenda between then and <laughs> here and then and uh, uh, it just feels good to have 3103 I guess that's where I'm at so until next week you guys take it easy bye bye bye